This is the Warrior Tackle Supply XL box. They shipped it in a Pro, but I say it's a new generation of tackle. This is the box for November. Let's crack it open. We got a Jinko, uh, I think Hard Knocker, Rip Knocker is what it's called. Next up is the Chase Baits Wiggle Bomb. These are pretty cool. I've seen some videos on these, but I'm not really sure how you fish them yet. Another bait by Jinko. This is the Deep Diver Crappy Crank. I think it's more of a trolling. Yeah, troll from 18 to eight, eight to 18 feet. Pretty cool bait. Matsu little baby uh, popper. Some drop shot baits by Warrior Tackle Supply, and these by Doomsday little uh, sea sheds. Then some hooks and the decal. So let's crack some of this open. Sorry about the lighting, but phone's doing something crazy. First up is the Doomsday Tackle company. This is a little thing called the Sea Shed. This is probably the most realistic looking minnow style bait out. Um, it's got this foil in the middle. You can do anything from drop shot to a little jig head. I like drop shot option because it looks just like a little baby bluegill or crappy or something swimming through. Maybe even dip the tail in a little chartreuse but I will be throwing these for sure. This is called Baby Gill Flash. So, as you can see, those are just smashed. Next up is these Matsu, Matsu, Matsuo, Four Alt Red Chrome Hooks. There's five. These are standard Four Alt Hooks. Uh, these are a lot stronger than the ones they sent last time. This extra wide gap. J bend worm hook. Again, there's your decal. You got pretty cool uh, logo. I like that a lot. It'll be going on my boat or tackle bag or something. If anybody on here follows me on Instagram, you know I love micro top top water lures. And this thing is hell. Got sticky hooks, but it's about two inches maybe three sixteenths ounce let's see oh it's three sixteenths ounce and I don't see the length but it is micro it's probably yeah I mean it it's probably right at two inches two and a half maybe but these little topwater baits get smashed by all size just chunk them out this one's a little popper Walk, walk it a little bit, pop it a little bit. You're gonna draw all size fish up, tough bites. You're gonna get bit on this. Even by panfish, you shouldn't have a problem getting a bite of any sort with this. So I look forward to throwing this around. Next is the Warriors Tackle Supply, their own little soft plastic. It's a little drop shot worm. This is a probably a plum or a June bug or some color of that sort. I don't see the color name on the pack. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call it a red plum. But nose hook this a little uh, drop shot or even power shot. You can do a you need weedless, you can do small worm hook and Texas rig it. Carolina rig these. However you want to throw them. I know a lot of people are drop shotting this right now though. Probably you could probably do a little micro shaky head. But this body's really, really thin. It's a real small profile. Perfect for the tough, tough water bites right now. I know all almost all water is got tough conditions right about now. Next up is a smaller little crankbait by Jinko. It says troll it. Um, I'm not big on trolling, but I do like 
Again, I like smaller bait, so I like the small crankbait. I'll be chunking this thing around. It says it drives crappy crazy, but I can assure you bass will smash this as well. Red hooks, that's different, but 8 to 18 feet. I'll, I'll probably be good to get it about 10 or 12 with some 10 to 12 pound test. And Sorry if I sound nasally, I got some kind of allergies going on. It's like the day before Thanksgiving and I can't breathe. And it's going to suck if I can't taste all this yummy food. I'm a fat kid, I love food. But next up is the Jinko Rip Knocker and a what color? Spring Crawl. It's got good rattles, a good color. This color is pretty good all year round. Let me pause it and open this up. As I was saying, this color is good all year round. It's natural, close to natural. A little chartreuse, good for dirty water. It's got the rattles to help you out if the water is a little dirty. It'll work in clear water just because it looks like a crawl. Heavy enough to throw it out and let it get down, but not too heavy to throw on regular fishing gear too. So another secret use braid when you're throwing this let it get hung up in grass and pop it out you'll get a good reaction strike from that pretty pretty effective bait last up is this chase baits um wiggle bomb they're from australia 10x material so it's kind of like the z-man stuff i guess i want to say i could tell you how to fish this but i can't i have a feeling this thing will do really good around bedding season. It's hollow bodied, kind of like a little frog. I have something very similar that I fish by snag proof. Sorry about that, I dropped that. Uh, um, I'm probably going to throw this on 15 to 15 pound fluoro and then maybe 30 pound braid, I'm guessing. I've heard that these sink a little bit and they you can use them as top water or let them sink they're pretty effective I would imagine they look like little tadpoles or baby lizards or baby shed I mean they they can imitate anything I imagine they're going to drive bass crazy during the early spring just like the little D set shed or C shed by doomsday this is the November XL box by Warriors Tackle Supply. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. They got some cool stuff coming up. I see this little company getting pretty big pretty fast if they get the right people behind them. Um, and I cannot breathe. Those allergies are killing me. But hope everybody has a thanks happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe, tight lines, and God bless.